Hello Capricorn, welcome to Cupid Empress 1111. I am coming in with your August reading. I do want to um, apologize because I have not been um, in, into readings lately. Um, I had my daughter's wedding last month and fortunately I came back with COVID so I have was recovering from COVID. I am 100% better now but um, you know it was definitely I have to rest because my energies had to go for recuperation. Okay, but I am back in my happy place and I'm very glad to be here. And um, please, if you are new, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Cupid Emperor 1111. If you're returning, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Also, like, share, and subscribe, my, and subscribe so that you will get notifications when my videos upload. And also share my content and comment down below, guys. That way I know that it's resonating, okay? So, let's begin with your reading. So starting with the Monology cards, we have Confidence is Key to Success, Leo. If a new moon in Leo, you may be dealing with a Leo or have it in your chart. And then Adjustments are Required, Third Quarter Moon. Okay, we have 14, maybe significant, number 14, The Art of Seduction. So you guys are going to be very seductive. Um, you guys are in that in that energy of just being you know you're very seductive with things also um follow heavenly signs and you're changing your mind on something okay no way forward you may have a change of mind on something that you decide to do something different okay we're starting off the reading with the emperor okay this is aries major arcana the emperor can be a CEO, can be a um, manager, supervisor, a father, can be um, someone in government. Just somebody that's got their stuff together, someone that takes charge. Um, you are in a very, uh, you are rushing towards something. Or wanting to rush towards something. However, whatever you're rushing towards, it's a person, an opportunity, whatever it is. It's, it's not having it. It's giving you their back. So something is not flourishing here. You are wanting to first six of pentacles for equal give and take. But justice is coming in here. This is Libra energy. Okay. There is seeds planted on something. There is something that you're working on with the seven of pentacles. However, there's a queen of swords here. This is Aquarius Gemini or Libra. This sword is, this queen is the cutting off queen. Okay. Um, you walked away from something that caused you a seven of swords that caused you a betrayal. That you thought was going to be your ten of cups, but it caused a seven of swords. And you walked away from it. You're walking away from it. Either it's an opportunity or a person. Truth came in here with the king of swords. King of swords again. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. There is going to be changes with the Wheel of Fortune here. You're following your intuition. But there's also things that you don't see behind the veil. So perhaps maybe secrets. Um, two of Pentacles, you're juggling. You're juggling, trying to figure out what is the best, what is the best route here. There is an Ace of Wands. You're wanting to go towards a new beginning. And a new passion in the beginning. Whether the endeavor is a new field of study here with the Page of Swords. Or you're spying on somebody that you're interested in. That you're wanting to move towards. That you see, you know, you're working very diligently with the Eight of Pentacles here. You're wanting to start new, start over. On something that you think will bring you wish fulfillment. You're very fiery in your Emperor energy moving towards that goal. Um, however, there's been something here that's been a ten of wands. It's been, it's been burnt, burn, you know, something you're cutting out because it's caused you a lot of burdens. And we got the queen of, queen of, uh, swords here again. So something that's been, heavy, you know, weighing heavy that perhaps maybe arguments, betrayal, something not working out. You're in a five of cups, you know. And um, it was a, it was regarding a uh, twin flame connection here 
with the high priestess you're following your intuition again with it you know um something you hoped maybe to reunite but it caused an ending in your like in your single mode now okay i i get this with capricorn a lot the relationship with capricorn i don't know you guys are very stable financially and you always come up very stable financially but in relationships you you tend you guys always tend to scroll struggle a little bit i've noticed that with this particular sign in the readings i've had like my first readings with capricorn it was all like divorces and problems and separations and you know um this is definitely involving an engagement of some sort perhaps there was an engagement here and it didn't happen it didn't flourish And you're just working diligently, you know, to just move forward and find your own happiness. Pay attention to the red flags. Love yourself first. See deception. From a soulmate. Children could have been involved in the situation here. You know, it could have been a marriage as well. And codependency, codependency issues. That also occurred in this relationship you know um that's truly what i see here i'm gonna go ahead and do your cards for advice see what um what the angels and god has to share as far as advice is moving forward for you guys show me the advice for capricorn spirit advice for capricorn thank you what is the advice for capricorn moving forward the sign of capricorn spirit thank you all right, guys, let's see here. Well, there is going to be big happy changes coming your way. Spirit is saying wait on something. There is going to be abundance. And trust, okay? Trust that everything will be fine. And a year from now, something within a year from now is what it's showing me here. Oh, okay, romance romance and perhaps maybe i don't know i'm getting here in the bottom of the deck something could be coming in within the next few months and within the near future okay and something's going to be a perfect timing but they are telling you to choose a new direction all right that's the advice that I, I see here for you, Capricorn. I want to thank you again for allowing me to tap into your energy. It was a pleasure to read for you. It was a pleasure to be back. I will be back with more readings. I hope that things go positive and this brings some clarity for you guys, okay? Before you leave, please like, share, and subscribe for me um, so that my channel can grow. And that way you can help me be here with more intuitive messages for you guys moving forward, okay? Thank you so very much. I will see you next time, Capricorn. Bye.